Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another day of the video diary. How's it going? Uh, oh, what's going on? I got up relatively late. I didn't get to sleep until really late last night. I was about half three. Um, so I got up at nine, six hours sleep. There or thereabouts. Uh, had myself uh, had a shower, had myself some breakfast. Oh, I could have sworn that was my old computing teacher then. Oh, that freaked me out. Had myself some breakfast and then went to a maths lecture. Um, which we did about matrices season. quadratic chicks figuring out simultaneous equations with, oh, God, I know. So friggin' boring, it's unreal. I'm just walking through campus, vlogging, balls to it. Um, so, went there, and now we've just gone to EB, East Building, to do some more programming with the gang. Um, Peter, Harry, and Gilbert are there. I tried to log on, and then the resources I'm using there are logged on somewhere else. So I'm gonna go to Lovelace and see if they're still logged on there. Imbecile, you do not leave your computer logged on with all of your work on it. God damn, <laughs> such a freaking idiot. Um, I think it's because I made a mental note as well to log out yesterday. I must have logged off of LCPU and not logged off the computer itself. God damn. So I've just undone my last save. It's like, do you want to save changes? No, because that means it's been changed. Or it could have been changed. I'll have to check the code when I obviously get back. To East Building now. <sighs> Rookie mistake. And this is essentially going to be my day today. Just in East Building programming. I'm going to go back for food. I've got one more lecture to go to and stuff. Um, but beyond that, it's just going to be program, 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 program. <sighs> I think after dinner tonight as well, I'm going to just go back and do more programming. Because I need to, you know? And I can feel myself. I can be in that kind of mood if I want to be. So. I can feel myself on the edge. I'm thinking I'm getting a cold. Which has probably got something to do with walking around at like half past two in the friggin' morning. I thought someone was right behind me then. God, that's terrifying. Um, man, stop being out. It's just it's so damn cold. It hasn't been above freezing. It was minus five last night. Holy sh. You know what I mean? That's way too cold. So, yeah, lol. Right, so we need to get some programming done. We need to implement all of the rules today. We need a game that's completely workable. That's the plan. And that's some programming done and lectures out the way. Just come to the music practice room, I booked an hour of piano. Gilbert's behind this wall here. And I'm in this room, this is the first, this is room number one. I've tried all three now and this one is by far the best. Let me show you why, we've got the piano, for one. We've got a friggin' harpsichord, what? Got a bit of a boss on my hands over there. I think he was impressed by Tim Minchin. Bit of Timmy M. I just wanted to show you how awesome the harpsichord was, but my god, it was awesome. Um, I had just a quick hour session on the piano, just going over some tunes, it was a nice break. Came back here, sorted out my wash in, so I've now got room in my room again! Yeah, boy! And otherwise, just been chilling down for a little bit. Um, I'm now writing up some lecture notes. I need to write video descriptions. I'm just writing up some lecture notes now before um, going in there to cook some dindins. Ugh. And then. I'm a bit tired, but I'm going to go to East Building and do some programming, because if I stay here, I won't program. And I prefer East Building, it's a lot quieter than Lovelace. Oh no, it's quieter, but it doesn't have to be quiet because you can control the lights and stuff, it's just a lot better. And we is back in the programming den with the lights dimmed, the computers glowing with light, and I've got my um, Peabody's there, dishing out the beats, and I'm also talking to Emily on Skype, and uh, Lovelace's Lovelace morning in DVD. Mm. I haven't been scoped with Lovely in a long time. Should really get on that. Get on that! Um, otherwise then, gotta program this mofo. I'm just going through implementing the rules now, and then control it, and then it's essentially a game. As soon as you got the controls nailed, you're laughing. All right then, moment of truth, baby. Right, okay, this is what I'd like to do. You're not supposed to do this, because it's a terrible thing to do. Let's just turn the lights on. Um, it's a terrible lights. No? <laughs> Was you still waking up when I pressed you? Embarrassing. This is just a game I like to play. It's a terrible game. You really shouldn't do it if you're programming. I strongly advise against it. But, because you're probably going to see in like the next couple of minutes why you shouldn't do it. But, um... <laughs> Take my shoes off. It's the way I roll in this place. This is my crib. I love having a space like this. It's really productive as well. It's ridiculously productive. You have no idea how much code I've written in the past two hours. But anyway, okay. So here's how I like to how I like to program. And all computer scientists out there who are watching this are like, oh my god, what the hell is he doing? He shouldn't do that. What the hell? 
Basically, you write it in the order that it's kind of, it runs. So you don't kind of go from the beginning and then like slowly program your way in. You start bang at a thing that you want to happen chronologically and then program everything that that thing needs and then use all of those things that that thing needs to program another one and keep going around and around and around and around, around in circles until you get to where you need to be. Um, the only downside with this, and it's not a downside, it's freaking amazing, is that you can't test it. You do the thing that you need to interact with it last. So there's no way that you can test the code at all. Not a single way that you can test the code that you're writing until you've written all of it and then the user interface. Yeah, you either do the user interface first and then sort that out, then work around it. Or, that's if you're using a GUI, if you're not doing GUI, and you've got like string inputs and stuff, um, do it this way, because it's so much more fun. I spent the past two hours implementing all of the rules, all of the controls to the game. Uh, all of the rules, all of the controls, um, everything else really, apart from, I've basically made this, I converted it from something that literally just shows you a picture of a map, into a fully working, fully functional game without testing it. Which is stupid. Because if you've, if you've made a mistake and then carried that mistake on, you've got to change them all, right? However, if you haven't and it works, you, and it never, it very rarely happens, it just works straight off the bat, it probably won't. One, you feel like a boss. Two, you just feel like, it doesn't feel like you've programmed eight tiny little rules. It feels like you've just programmed an entire game in one entire sitting without testing it like a boss. And now I'm going to run it and the adrenaline is pumping from, it's, oh, it's pumping because I'm going to press run and it could error like a boop. It could error like a bitch. But then it's easier just to debug it than write it. It's, oh, it's so much better. Just, oh, debug, boot, done. I bet there'll be about... Four errors, there or thereabouts, I think. Um, and I reckon it's going to be more about the loops and like going out of the bounds of the array by mistake or really stupid typos. That'll be it that causes this thing to error. <sighs> Ready to press play with me? Just press save and press and play. Run. It's being silly because it doesn't, I'm not, test starter, now run it. Silly little thing. <sighs> Yeah, run it from the test. <laughs> God, I haven't even, that's how little I've tested this. I'm just setting up the testing now. Run. Thank you. Please select a map. Okay. I have a low battery as well, so let's hope this works. We'll go for the very small labyrinth of doom. Open. Bang, it's up here now. Please enter your player name. Jamie. Hello. Here we go. Enter. There's the map. There's another map. <laughs> okay, it's not supposed to, to run two maps. For some, for some reason it has, however. Okay. So let's go down here and let's type move. We've got to go towards the gold. So move west. Success. Not a lot of success though. <laughs> right. All right. Okay. <laughs> Awkward. Am I in an infinite loop? I am in an infinite loop somewhere. By the looks of it, am I? Or can I just type something else? Let's try and type something else. Um, move east. Oh shit. East. Null. Okay. <laughs> Fail. Now you get to see why it doesn't work. Lol. So much fun though. Now I've got to go in there and find these little bugs. Ah, having a whale of a time. And there we have it. Problem number one always comes from loops. Always without a doubt. We had an infinite loop going on here. Okay, so that's now. Right, okay, that, that one will work. Let's go. Let's do it again, baby. I wouldn't show you because you've got low battery. I don't want to ruin it. The second error was me forgetting to... When I was moving the player around, I forgot to move him. Like, I changed all of his locations and stuff, but I forgot to put him back in the map. Because you take them off the map, change all the settings and stuff, whack them back in the map. I forgot to do that. So that's error number two. Let's see how many more we've got. Third error, error in the look function which made it infinite loop because I forgot that it was y minus one, not y plus, no. I put y plus one, it's actually y minus one, I'm a moron. Okay, let's run it, I'll just break number three. And that right there is all of the movements sorted. I can now move all around the board, works fine. 
let's try the lock algorithm. The lock algorithm is supposed to um, take two squares either way of you. So you can kind of lock two that way, like there and there, there and there. If you're, well, it's really hard to visualize actually. That's the best I can do, it's on my iPad. <laughs> that, if that middle square is you, then you can see forward in like a three by two block. So you can see three, like you can see to the left one, to the right one and straight in front of you obviously, and then you can move, do the same thing one ahead. So you can't see these corners here. You can then rotate around, look here, rotate around, look here, but you can't ever see these corners. So let's see if our program does that. This unrecognized input isn't supposed to happen there, but We'll figure out what that is, but it seems to have worked. Look, it's figured out. Is that accurate to there? Oh, it's rotated around. Oh, that's weird. So it's, oh. No, it looks jackal like this. What the hell happened there? Okay, so, right. I'm gonna have to look at look. That's obviously an issue, but I can move to gold pieces. I can walk over gold pieces and nothing happens until you type a pickup and then it picks it up. If I try and type a pickup now, what happens? It'll enter fail. Yep, does nothing. Brilliant. Right, let's see if we can go to an exit square when we're not allowed to go to an exit square. Okay, so that's good. Moving over an exit square when you haven't got enough gold to finish the game works fine. Brilliant. Okay, then so let's get all. Of, let's get as much gold as we need to win. Move north, baby. And it's exited. It's exited perfectly. Right. Okay, then. So now it's literally just luck that needs looking at. And so why is look not acting the way it should act? That's the question. Why? Figured it out as well. It's just upside down. That's the only thing that's wrong with it. It's just upside down because I forgot that because I'm not where my freaking whiteboard is. I forgot that the top left hand corner is backwards. How you think it is? Uh, oh, why am I using my the, I, I've got freaking whiteboard, son? However, I don't have a pen. <laughs> Literally, none of these pens work. Aha, found one. And actually, there's loads of pens lying around all around the room. Okay, basically, what I forgot was that the grid isn't like your normal grid. Da da da. Da da da. Um, it's not like a Cartesian grid where the north uh, north starts at the very bottom left hand corner. It's weird, it starts at the top. The very top corner is north north. So basically, if we're doing Cartesian uh, uh, area, we'll say that's the square we're working with, this one here. Which means, even though everything's positive, so ignore that, this is zero, this is one, two, three in the x direction, and then this is one, two, three in the uh, y direction. So here's me flipping it the other way around, and I'm printing it out that way. So there we go, problem solved, all I need to do is flip that over, and I have a working game, so Put the lights back down low, it's weird having them bright like that. Right, okay, so pop that down there, and let's flip that over, and we have done, we're done for the evening. We've just got AI to sort out, we've got a week to program an AI that's relatively clever. By relatively clever, I mean freaking pitch perfect. Well, since I've absolutely friggin' bossed that, go on you, load up, turn the lights back on. Um, since I've absolutely friggin' bossed that, I have to turn them on so that I can turn them back off again when I leave. Um, I'm gonna hang on my boots. Basically what I've done in the past three hours, um, while talking to Emily on Skype, <laughs> Um, I've managed to completely program the rules and the game, basically. Um, before today, I only had the map loaded up onto the screen and into the memory. Um, I've done everything else today in just a three hour slot. I like working here. I like that this is like my space. It's like my office. It's a beast of an office. Look at all the whiteboard space. Sorry, lovely, but you don't quite top the whiteboard space. <laughs> oh man, so yeah. I haven't even used the whiteboard. So, since that's now working, um, I'm gonna text Lovely, tell her that I've, I've finished my programming and that when she's finished a film she can ring me and we're gonna have a catch up. Uh, I'm gonna go head off home. I'm gonna have some toast, I think, because I've got spare bread left over. Uh, I'm gonna have some toast before going to bed uh, to talk to Lovely on the phone for a bit. This game now, this process, this project is majoritively done. Majoritively is being the operative word because we've now got to program a bot, an AI drone that goes around the map for us. Uh, and we've got a week to do it. Basically the hand in is about an hour ago this week. Uh, next week, an hour ago. So it's 11 o'clock, 11, 11 p.m. next week. Um, I've got until then to have an AI bot with relative intelligence. It's gonna be hard. It's gonna be hard to program a clever bot for this kind of map, but I'm gonna have a damn good go. What's going on tomorrow? I'm gonna to get up at nine, because I'm having a, well, yeah, I get up at nine, because I'm used to getting up. I either get up at nine or eight now. Uh, I'll get up at nine. 
sort out videos and things. I still need to sort out the description and stuff for the video I uploaded today. Uh, so I need to do stuff like that. Um, and then, I guess, depending on how much time I've got, I should have quite a sizable chunk of time if I'm getting up at 9 o'clock. I'll be able to get a lot, quite a bit of programming before I have to go to work and cook, or cook to go to work. So that'll be good. Sounds like good stuff. Um, then obviously I've got to go to work and then I've got to try and, I've got to do my shopping as well though. I've got to try and go to Harry's for his birthday tomorrow because he's throwing a flat party but it's got to be after work. I've got to go after work which is a bit of a bummer. Blimey I mean, that's warm. A little grill here. It's kicking out some heat that. Um, so yeah. That's what I've got to do. That's what I've got to do. But yeah, I'm going to go to bed now. I'm not. I'm going to pack up and I'm going to walk across the yard to uh, to Orm, see how things are going. So yeah. Good job today, Jamie. Well done. You picked up. You picked up the beef, and you got productive for a change. I'll catch you later.